Hey YouTube, I, uh, I want to reach out to some of you uh, that have bandsaws and experience with these type of bandsaws, these horizontal 4x6s or, or any of these horizontals that have a worm gear drive like this. I just picked this up a couple weeks back. It's a, uh, it's a 1983 model from Central Machinery. And this is back when Central Machinery was selling under their own name. Although it was made in Taiwan, you'll find most of these by Jet and all these other manufacturers back in the day were having these made in Taiwan, and but selling them under their own name. Anyhow, um, I got a great deal for it. It was $40 on Craigslist, and uh, that was because the blade wouldn't stay on, so they really couldn't demonstrate it, but uh, they did demonstrate how it kept falling off, and they said whatever they tried didn't work with these adjustments. And what I found was in the back of the wheel, actually, there's a little bushing uh, that's supposed to be a half inch thick or thereabouts, and this one had worn down to about the thickness of a, of a dime. And that's why the uh, belt wouldn't stay under the blade because uh, it was too far back and wasn't in alignment with the lower wheel. So putting that bushing kind of pushed it out. Then I was able to put the, the blade on and uh, make a little adjustment here and it stays on fine, doesn't have any problem with it. They even threw in the blade, uh, which was nice, but my problem uh, is, is really trying uh, to get some gear lube in this, proper gear lube that is. And everything I've been reading uh, shows some 140 weight oil. I don't know what kind of oil, but when I cracked this uh, cap, this is what the previous owner had, which is, uh, and this is relatively new grease. It's not old and smelly. It's relatively new grease, but it was packed in here. Uh, such that it was obviously getting lubed because I couldn't find any shavings, any particles of metal at all inside when I pulled it out. I put in, uh, because I kept hearing about this 140, I had this laying around, uh, was some 85 to, I guess, 140 weight gear oil. So I put it in thinking it was fine. Then I started reading that this GL5 is not the type of oil that, you want to have in there because whatever makeup for GL5 it causes or can cause harm to worm gears or at least the brass or bronze gear portion so point of the video is I wanted to ask any of you to chime in if you've ever used any sort of oil that you have noticed either deterioration of your gears or gear any shavings or metals prematurely or, or more more than normal have been at the bottom when you've opened it up or any of you that have had a failure because of using some oil that you ultimately concluded it was a gl5 type so that's my question uh, what i ended up doing was uh, tracking down uh, this stay lube gear oil happened to find it at a napa auto parts a couple of uh, cities away from me and uh, picked it up and that's what I'm going to use for right now but I kind of like the idea of the grease actually because it, when I opened this up it was caked on and when I pulled this this is the I think this is the original seal because it's a nice cork type seal and uh, you can see that green that's the old or the gear oil that I had put in as a replacement but the seal seemed to be uh, in really good shape. And even with that gear oil that I used, that Coastal, um, I even overfilled it purposely because I really wanted to get it and keep it lubricated constantly. And short of the seal leaking somehow, I couldn't see any downside to having a little more uh, gear oil than they say, which is put on the lip when this is flat uh, or level rather when the bed is leveled uh, so I tilted it up a couple of inches the machine that is and then filled it so it came up you know about here anyhow I don't see any harm in overfilling this um, with anything actually but uh, my point is that I would like to find whatever works and uh, not damage this 
uh, gear because I would like it to last for a good long while. Again, this is from 1983. It's been around 39 years and I want it to be around for another 39 years. It, it runs great, sounds great. Um, I have another video that I put up on this or that I'm gonna put up. So, uh, but I'll demonstrate that then. But uh, for the purposes of this video, just wanted to see if any of you guys can chime in, see if anything has not worked. Um, surely appreciate it. Hope you got something out of this one. I'm waiting to hear back. Till next time.